Whoa, hello guys, this is your boy, um, uh, Reach 42, and I'm coming back here with another game, well, it's not even a gameplay video, um, it's just games I have, games I don't want to do, so, all my games is located right here, um, there are a few games I was considering, I was considering either Also Nice Battle Block Theater, um, bully I'm already doing right now, so Castle Crashers. I'm not doing Cave Story because um, doing 100% of that game is impossible to me. Uh, Costume Quest, I don't know. Dead Rising 2, I could possibly do that. I'll try. Um, Double Dragon Neon, DuckTales, Remastered. Dungeon Defender is a very fun game, but I don't know if my computer goes slow. This, no. San Andreas, yeah. Possibly I can do that 100%. Can do this 100%. But other than that, I'll try for every game except for like some games are like really, very, very, very demanding. Like Left 4 Dead 2, I'm gonna do. So I'm not about to play Left 4 Dead 2 right, right now. I'm about to um, I'm about to go ahead and um, I'm about to download some mods. If you're not familiar with mods, here we go. So this is the Steam Workshop right here. And in the Steam Workshop, you could download. I don't know, like, hmm, like in the Steam Workshop, you can download stuff that you can use in the game, so, basically it's like free DLC, except for people, except for like the developers usually don't make them, it's usually, um, it's usually like, you know, customers and people that bought the game, so, that's a good thing about that, um, yeah, but other than that, it's really, I like it, I mean, I downloaded a whole bunch of DLCs. Not for this game yet, this is my first time downloading it, downloading it, well at least on this computer. So, let's start downloading. But, um, they got a bunch of enemies in Left 4 Dead 2. I was considering doing it for Left 4 Dead 1, but considering, like, I haven't played Left 4 Dead 2 yet, I don't want to be too close-minded, so I was like, alright, that was weird. Commonly affected. All right. I need to get a freaking mouse pad. It's not like I don't like this. Like using regular desk, I like it. But like, actually, once you think about it, it's better than using the regular ball ones that they used to have like back in 2005 or so. But yeah, they got a whole bunch of stuff available. Um, like, you might say that, like, for this game, it takes up, like, 127 megs. Like, certain games take up a certain amount of memory. So, like, if you were playing the Doug game, which I used to have before my account got hacked, like, if you're playing Doug game, like, it'll at least, like, each map and each, like, weapon and stuff will at least take 0 0.04, uh, what you call it, 0.04, um, uh, megabytes, but this one takes more since it's more like demanding. Let's just download this. Wait, is this for this game? Wait, let's go to downloads. I'll just make a short because I don't want there to be, you know, another game stuff. But yeah, um, I am very happy that you guys like started watching my YouTube stuff because I got like over 11 views on my new game and PC thing. I got a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah. Um, soon enough I might get a graphics card. Like I'm hoping by the next month. So. Alright. I was thinking about doing, um, I don't know what that game's called. Um, crap, I don't even know what that game is called. Oh, crap. I just downloaded this, like, on some legit stuff. Alright, um, 
it's I Woody Wow. <laughs> but yeah, people make some very funny DLCs. Ooh, Star Wars Samurai. No, like they got some South Park stuff for it, so yeah. Oh, sweet. That's okay, so one of my friends talking about this. He doesn't have it, but he's seen it online. So I'm about to download this Teletubbies mod. That's kind of weird, though. Like, the Teletubbies mod? Kinda weird. I um the only bad thing I say about this game is that it doesn't have local co-op, which to me is stupid because like they should have local co-op. Local co-op is like I don't know, like local co-op is local co-op will go so good with this game. Like to me, that's why people like this game like better than the first one because the first one you couldn't do this, you had to go through your like literally had to go through your files and stuff, and it was just a very big mess. Okay, so here's the mobs. I mean, I said mobs. I mean maps. And so, um, for the next video, I hope that I could do Left 4 Dead one. I mean, not one. Um, I would have been able to do Left 4 Dead 1, but I already played too much of that game, and I don't want to do any more campaigns for that game, so. I don't want it to be, like, extra, extra boring for everybody, because I'm a be bored. So, yeah, um, what game do you guys want me to play? That's what I'm asking right now. Um... Yeah, like some of the modes, like when I opened the game up, some of the modes were like extremely, extremely confusing to me because I'm like, what the heck is this um, mutations mode or whatever? Like, I was like, wow, like, what is this? But other than that, it's really not that bad. That's just link on YouTube, so. You see, I'm, I can't download all of this because it would take up too much space, but, you know. Extra mods, extra mods. I might get on Snapchat and Snapchat this. Um, follow me on Instagram. I'm, oh crap, I forgot to put every single thing in my description. So, Super so Mario Galaxy King, Bowser's King, whatever. Um, Usually I always play games with the controller because like it's easier that way, well, at least for me. Left for Mario 2. So like I'm not really gonna go through every single page, but at least like a few pages per row, so I'm gonna go here, here, here. I mean, we've done all that. There's gotta be more, right? Alright, here we go. Some of this stuff is available in every mode, so. So before I do any mods, I'm going to try to like play one campaign, get that one over with. Um, I'm also doing Bully today, so just be on the lookout for that. I'm doing Bully today. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, somebody said something about the Osama Bin Laden. I was like, wow. There's something about um he plays with Osama bin Laden. I never heard of it before. I'm about to put this on Snapchat real quick. Um 
So yeah, like you might ask, like, what was wrong with your mic? What's wrong with your audio? The first two parts of the bully thing. Well, it turns out that my um that the Turtle Beach microphone headset thing that it came with sucks balls, like literally sucks. So yeah, it's really not that good. So yeah, it really isn't. I don't know. Cause like, I thought it was about to be cool, like, but then I was wondering, I was like, oh yeah, that's why when I was playing Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 1 with some of my friends, that's why they were all like, dude, we can't hear you, I was like, okay. Like, I used to use a, um, 360, um, called it, and that worked fine. The only reason why I didn't like it, cause it didn't go on both ears, only went on one, so, like, that's why I'm kind of like, against season headset. Like, I'm using, like, earbuds right now. But, um, you see, this is why I freaking love the workshop because you see this, you don't get mods like this in the like console version. See, this is exactly why I'm in PC gaming because it's so to me not only will you learn more about computers because I learn a lot about computers, like, I learn what to do, I learn how to build a computer, what to do if something happens to your computer. I learned how to create recovery disks. I, I learned a bunch of stuff. And it's like, even though computers are more expensive, think about the games you could get. Just think about all the games that you could get at a very low price. Like, let me see. Let me show you guys. Let me include these ones too. So, every single game I got here, I have not spent over. I think I have not I have not spent over I think about 30 bucks for every game because um on one game I spent at least under 20 bucks per game at least under 20 bucks because um overall I think I spent over like 80 bucks on this steam stuff so yo, 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 what is that? yeah so yeah, I've never spent, I haven't spent over 20 bucks per game. The only game I think I'll spend over 20 bucks for would be if I were to buy GTA 5, just cause 3 and Fallout 4. Those are the only three games I've spent over 30 bucks for. Oh crap, yeah, I gotta get Fallout 4 on, um, yeah, I gotta get Fallout 4. But no matter, um, yeah, but like all these games, like, usually a lot of games for bundle, like, they had a double fine bundle for like 19 bucks. And I bought that when they had the GTA bundle on sale. It was supposed to be 59, but it was like 10 bucks. And then I bought a whole bunch of other games. But um, yeah. So next video I'm gonna do Left 4 Dead 2. And you know, if you're like not used to PC stuff, like search on YouTube like how to build a computer or whatever. Because um, oh yeah, I gotta search up controllers for Dead Rising 2. Yeah, it won't pop up. Um, yeah, it's so like it's so like yeah, it really isn't that bad as people say it is. Like, oh, you're gonna be paying a bunch for this. You're gonna be paying a bunch for that. It really isn't that bad. Like I me. Mean, Always wait until the sales to get good games. Don't ever just like up and buy the games because at the end of the day you might buy the game and then it might not be all like that to you. Of course you can get refunds now, thankfully. But you know where's the Google Chrome? Alright, I'm done with that. Alright, so this is an app called Controller Companion and it allows you to use the Xbox 360 controller or any controller, not any controller, but like any X input controller as a mouse or Steam and as a keyboard at the same time. So that's the good thing about it. Um, oh yeah, so yeah, that's a very good thing about it. I just have to right now, but um, yeah, guys, it was nice. Um, 
it was nice talking with you. Um, be sure to add me on any of your social media stuff, and I should be with you. Bye.